Hello again, beer brothers and mothers. It's your boy, Beer Ben, coming back at you with one of Portland's older breweries, Hair of the Dog. Yes, this beer is Hair of the Dog, like Temple of the Dog with our boys, Chris Cornell and Eddie Vedder. Say hello to heaven. Dog. Hair of the Dog makes a Fred Golden Special Ale. This beer is to honor a uh, beer writer and historian Fred Eckhart, who wrote many books and topics about beer, and so they wanted to incorporate the entire world into this beer. And they tried, because I couldn't even list them all. They put 10 hops. They put 10 hops in here, and it's 10%. So this is definitely a beer I'm looking forward to passing out next to. So it has all kind of wonderful flavors to it. It's got a caramel smell, it's got it's got rye malts in it that they typically use in their Pilsner that come all the way from Canada, eh? British Columbia, eh? So yeah, I guess we can never say the Canadians didn't do anything good for us, okay? So anyway, it's a wonderful smelling beer. Can't wait to try it. Um, they specialize in making really unusual and complex beers. Most of their ingredients, they keep it local, they keep it Portland, or within 350 miles of the location in Portland. So they keep everything real. So let's take a look at this baby. Ooh, golden ale, it lives up to the name. Golden color, oh, oh, you're gonna laugh at me. I got too much foam. Okay, I'm sorry. It's 10%, I got too excited. Sometimes, come on guys, it happens to all of us, let's just be real. So anyway, wonderful smell. Mm, take a look at that again. It just, I can't describe except for it has a caramel smell to it. And I know it's supposed to be rye, but. It, mm, mm, mm. Very, very nice. It's really not bitter, it's not really that pungent, it's only 65 IBU. But it definitely is called a strong ale for a reason. So it's got a strong flavor. Maybe it's in this small bottle because it has such a strong flavor. Kind of like a liqueur for all the civilized people in the world. Anyway, for the rest of us, just try to be cool. Let's keep it hoppy. I'll give this one about a three and a half. About a three and a half. I like it a lot. Um, I had other beers that I like a little better, but I do like this one a lot. I definitely say it would be one I would get again because of the fact that it's just so unique. It has such a unique flavor to it. But uh, since I screwed up in my pour, y'all can laugh at me while I wait for this foam to go down. In the meantime, let's have our 10% and be happy. How about that? <laughs> 